Hello, Chapter 1 Why are they congratulating me on receiving the Dao? 第一章,为什么他们恭喜我求得天道? Chapter 2 What is the Dao? 第二章,什么是道? Chapter 3 What are the three treasures? 第三章,何为三宝? Chapter 4 Why do the introducer and the sponsor take an oath at the altar? 第四章,为什么银宝要立? Chapter 5 Why I should take an oath before receiving the Tao? 第五章,为什么要立求道? Chapter 6 How to save human beings? 第六章,如何求度众生? Chapter 1 Why are they congratulating me on receiving the Tao ladies and gentlemen? I would like to extend my heartiest congratulations to you for this is your most auspicious day. Today you have received the Tao which is the ultimate aim of existence. All of the Buddhas and saints attained the Tao in the past and, by transcending the limitations of birth and death, had become immortal. That which you have received today is the same Tao. Formerly, one who intended to receive the Tao had to abandon worldly possessions and enjoyments. If he was a king he had to abandon his kingdom. If he was a high official he had to resign his high position leave his family and go to the remote mountains to seek a master who would transmit the Tao to him. After much suffering he would gradually perfect his conduct, purify his mind and heart and perform many good deeds. For his sincerity, God would send Buddha to transmit the Tao to him. Under such conditions a person able to succeed was hard to find. During that period the Tao was secretly transmitted from one patriarch to another. 第一章,为什么他们恭喜我求得天道,各位先生太太小姐。首先,让我衷心地恭喜你们。因为今天是你们大喜的日子今天你们得了道道是至宝道超出了一切每一位古圣先贤佛祖皆于古代求得天道故他们能超出生死之界现而永存今天你们所得得道即同道他们其实所得的道一样在古时人要得到必须弃他在世界上所拥有之一切与享受假如他是一位皇帝也必须弃他的江山假如他是一位大他必须舍弃他的绝离开家人入深山寻访能够指点他途径传授大道给他的名师在他经历了千辛万苦之后同时已将凡星修炼成佛星并已达至圆满之行为以及做了许多善事在他至诚之下终于感动上天之心派仙佛来指点传授大道给他在如此之情况下成功者非常稀少在那时道是由一代祖师逆传给下一代祖师 Today we need not go to the remote mountains in order to cultivate ourselves we may find the means to do so in our own environment. 
therefore we must take full advantage of our fortunate circumstances because we are in close proximity to the Tao. Why is the Tao so accessible to us at this time? It is because mankind is facing great calamities which signal the destruction of the human race. What is the cause of these calamities in this modern age? Most people blindly worship technical science and neglect spiritual harmony. They believe that the power of mankind can surpass nature and that science is almighty and can solve all human problems. It would seem as though conscience or soul are only religious terms and had no real existence. Most people do not recognize their true selves which are indestructible and immortal. Actually, the true self is the master of the mortal body. Today most people have lost their consciences, harming others in order to benefit themselves. Those evils which human beings are now committing will cause great disasters the likes of which had never been witnessed before. This will be the final calamity in which the human race, the immortals of space, and the ghosts in hell will all be destroyed. 然而，现在我们不需要到深山去，而我们亦莫修行。何以我们能如此容易就得到这事？因为时代不同了。现在人类面对劫难之来临，末劫就要来到，末劫将会毁灭全人类。劫难是怎样造成的？原因是在此新世纪，多数的人们共盲目崇拜科学，而不注重心灵的完善。他们相信人类的力量能超出大自然，科学是高于一切，科学是万能，科学能解一切人类之问题。而良心、灵性仅是宗教之名词，它永不能实现。人们不认识真理。真理是我们之良心、道心、真我本体，它不不灭，万不长存，它是主持而我一生之主人翁。如今世上的众生，大多数失去了真正的良心，他们造一切之罪恶，因此造成了空前绝后之浩劫。我们称它为末劫，在此浩劫中，不仅全世界的众生，同时起天的大仙、地府的鬼魂都要受劫灭。However, God, of whose essence we are created, is merciful and compassionate and does not desire that the good people be destroyed along with the evil ones. So God has provided that the doubt be disseminated among mankind and has sent the great teachers, Buddha Shikha and Bodhisattva Yui, to rescue the three kinds of beings, the immortals of space. Human beings and the ghosts in hell, so that they may return to heaven together. Buddha Shikha and Bodhisattva Yui are under the command of God and are responsible for transmitting the Tao to the three kinds of beings. Their duty is to manage the work called the Last Salvation. The salvation is formless and soundless, and the transmission is performed without preaching.
it directly points out the original nature conscience or soul of mankind in order that people may realize their true nature and thereby become enlightened. 然而，是我们灵性的至高无上之母亲上帝，是非常的慈悲，一步忍善恶俱焚。因此，降下真道，并派名师济公活佛与月会菩萨降世，挽救三曹气天之大仙，世界的众生，地府的鬼魂，同返天堂。我们师尊、师母、二位老大人，奉老母的命令，真传真守，普度三曹。他们的责任是办理幕后一收元大事，不立文字，教外别传，直指人心，直指人人不有之良心。灵性是人们见自信而成佛。When the last calamity arrives, nothing can save mankind except the true way. Which is the Tao sent from God? That is why the Tao is widely propagated today to save good people. Ancient people first cultivated themselves and then received the Tao. But today we receive the Tao first and then cultivate ourselves. Therefore. After we have received the Tao, we have to seriously cultivate ourselves. Then we shall automatically be safe from danger.